Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to the 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with Temporal Logic in November, looking at the precedence relation. That's kind of that curvy less than sign relation we saw in the last two videos. Let's take a look. Precedence is a binary relation. That means that it takes two terms between instants. So the terms that it's going to take are going to be instants in time. Simply, it says that one instant precedes another on a timeline. For example, x precedes y just means that instant x precedes or comes before instant y in time. Following this, if we wanted to say that Tyrell got home before the rain started, we might represent this logically as T precedes R, where T represents the instant when Tyrell got home, and R represents the instant that the rain started. It's important to note that T and R are not representing statements or propositions as they often do in logic. They're representing instance. So T is not representing Tyrell got home. T is representing the instant that Tyrell got home. And R is not representing the rain started. It is representing the instant that the rain started, just to be very clear. Now, sometimes we want to express before or at the same time as, saying a particular instant precedes or is identical to another. We would say that x happened before or at the same time as y by saying x precedes or is equal to y. Note that this should look very similar to kind of the basic mathematical operation of less than or equal to. We're just kind of adding a line under it, but we're making it a curved line to show that we're still talking about time, which can be defined in terms of equality and precedence as x precedes or is equal to y is equivalent to x precedes y or x is equal to y, and in proofs we're going to call this P E Q D. The important thing to kind of note and understand here is that if two instants are identical to one another, that means that they happen at the same time. And if two instants happen at the same time, that means that they are identical to one another. You can't have two instants that happen at the same time that are in some way different or distinct. That's all we mean by two instants happening at the same time, is just that they are identical to one another. All right? Therefore, borrowing from our deontic logic, we could say it is obligatory that you arrive at or before the start of the meeting, as OB, A precedes or is equal to M, where OB is, it is obligatory that A is the instant you arrive, and M is the instant that the meeting starts. So the instant you arrive has to be before or at the same time as the instant that the meeting starts. It is obligatory that that is true. Up next, we're going to talk about some of the properties of this precedence relation. And these properties are going to be important now, and they're going to have bigger effects when we look later. First off, we're going to be asking the question, is precedence reflexive? Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.